Hello guys and welcome to Duncan as well. Today we're going to be making a Mississippi pot roast from a frozen pork butt. So the first thing you want to do is hit the brown and saute option on your crock pot express or instant pot. You go ahead and start that up and it'll start to heat up. The next thing you want to do is grab uh, about two to three tablespoons of olive oil. Uh, or you can use any oil of your choice. So what I've done next, I've taken a uh, about a seven pound pork butt and I've cut it in two and I froze it in seasoned flour. What you want to do next is brown your pork butt. So just saute it like you normally would. Uh, you don't have to get it too brown, just you know, just to give it a little bit of flavor and color. So just brown it. Now I'm gonna add some mushrooms. Uh, you can add whatever vegetables you like. We like mushrooms. This is about a cup of mushrooms. Next, I'm going to add some uh, fresh garden carrots. These come from uh, our grandmothers. Uh, if you don't have a grandmother, baby carrots will work. Uh, next, uh, we're going to add about a half a stick of butter. A package of au jus gravy. Just toss that in there. Next, we're going to do about package of ranch dressing. Now this is a two pack, you only want to do a pack of it. Next you want to add some peppercino peppers. I'm going to add about a half of a bottle of juice and about five peppers. Now if you want it a little hot, you could add uh, sliced peppers that it gives it a little more heat. Next you want to add about a half a cup of water to this because uh, in a pressure cooker you want a little moisture now if you're doing it in a slow cooker you wouldn't have to do that next put your lid on and uh, make sure you set your valve to the pressure setting not on the release make sure that's on there next go ahead and hit the meat and stew button uh, you want to set this to about an hour and a half now if this wasn't a frozen pork butt you could probably do it in about an hour Here I'm just showing the steam coming in out of the vent. Now when this gets up to pressure, that little valve will go up and it won't be steaming anymore. Now the uh, timer starts. Now I, what I've done is uh, let it go for an hour and a half and this is actually going on the uh, on the natural release. As you can tell, it still has some pressure built up. So you, what you want to do is let that go ahead and uh, set for a little while longer. Once there's no pressure on the valve, you can go ahead and uh, release it and open your lid. As you can see this is fall off the bone uh, fork tender. It could probably, you probably do it in about an hour and 15 minutes. I just like the little extra time. Next what you want to do is go ahead and hit the, the brown and saute option again. And uh, this is to thicken the sauce. Now you don't have to do this if you don't want your... Once the gravy thickens, you can uh, serve this with mashed potatoes or rice. And uh, I think you guys really like it. This is one of our favorite uh, recipes. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see some more cooking videos, just go ahead and like and subscribe down below. Leave me some comments if you would do something a little different. And uh, we hope to see you next time. Later.